Hey Collective, hi, how are you? So um, I did feel really, really drawn to do this collective reading and this particular reading may not be everyone's style. You may not be in a place where you are ready to hear the things that are gonna be said or brought up in this particular reading. And again, like it can be a bit triggering. So uh, if you are easily triggered or if you're in a place where you're not ready to really look inward, um, then this particular reading is, is just not meant for you and that's okay, that's okay. Um, it's not a big deal, it just means that this particular reading isn't for you. However, if you are um, ready to take a look within yourself uh, or you are ready to like hear whatever messages that you need to, to hear, whether it's something that could be triggering or not, then this is a perfect reading for you. However, make sure that you're um, emotionally in a place where you're ready to hear it at this moment. So like if you're sad or um, if you just had, you know, an argument or like hungry or whatever the case is, um, then come back after, you know, you've had some time to get grounded and, um, and ready to hear. But if you're still here and you're ready to um, listen to this message, then let's begin. Also, um, you guys come back tomorrow for those of you who have water in your chart um, or if you're connected to someone with water in their chart. So go ahead and visualize a bright, healing, white light that is um, universal energy surrounding you. You can breathe that light in. It's not going to harm you. It's full of unconditional love and envision that it is filling every cell of your body. And then just ask your spirit guides, ask Archangel Michael, ask um, uh, your angels uh, or God, if that's what you subscribe to the universe to connect with you through this reading that is only of your highest good. <clears throat> Thank you, Divine Source Energy, Divine Holy Spirit. Thank you, Angels, Archangels. Thank you, Spirit Guides. Thank you, Ancestors of the Highest Good. Thank you, Ascendant Masters of Light and Love. And thank you, Angelic Higher Light Beings. For the good of all and to the harm of none, I call upon you now and invite you here into this sacred space to help me grasp messages and answers that need to be delivered to the collective of souls that find their way here. I thank you for guiding, blessing, protecting this reading, myself and the collective. I thank you for honest, accurate, trustworthy answers and messages that come only from the divine that are only of the highest good and to the harm of none. And I thank you for the accuracy on my part as well with peace, love, light, and so much gratitude. So it is. Namaste. So Spirit was showing me the labyrinth. You guys um, that have seen that, it came out in the 80s. You know that scene with those little um, um, uh, crazy Muppet looking things that would like take off their head and their legs and their arms and stuff while they're dancing around that looked like a scene that someone like maybe had was like acid tripping when they created that scene. Well, the whole movie actually, <laughs> but like spirit was showing me that, that part. So, and, um, now I'm getting like random flashes of that movie. So, um, not sure why they're showing me that it may mean something to you or, um, uh, be confirmation for some of you. Um, maybe it's something that you watched, uh, you know, when you were younger. Um, 
Maybe it's just a movie that you really like and it's just confirmation. It could be that uh, this, this is like going to be a deep dive uh, reading and so the labyrinth really wasn't, you know, all about complexities and things like that. So, I don't know, we will see what we get. Thank you, Spirit. Show me clearly what messages do you have for the, again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. So there may be like bits of messages for you in this reading and some that are meant for others. And then also like there may uh, be like something at the very beginning and then something at the very end that is for you. So again, like just take what resonates. And some uh, uh, sometimes you might get a message now that was relevant for you in the past or there could be a message for you uh, that is going to be relevant for you in the future. So again, always just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Show me clearly what messages do you have. Okay, so we've got the first card out is tribe. This is find your people. Some of you may have really felt like the oddball out. Look, evolve, it's okay to grow. You're leaving, um, it's okay to like leave people behind too. You are evolving, you're growing in there. I think feel like there are people that don't want to see you elevate. And I also feel like there are like, you yourself are struggling. Like there's um, fears. Um, I'm seeing a lot of um, freight, like inner child wounds, mo freight, like monsters under the bed uh, type of energy. Um, so let me get the other two cards out and then uh, we'll go further. Magic, you are blessed. You're blessed because if you're if you were still interested in um, this reading even after I told you how triggering it could be, you are so so blessed. Like you're so rare. You are so deep and you have really um, you're capable of looking at aspects of yourself that not many people are. And you really are. I feel like many of you are on your way to... Uh, it's like you may very well be reincarnated Ascended Masters. For many of you, I'm getting that. Others of you, like you're on your way to becoming Ascended Masters. But you are. It's like... And you reincarnate in as a game for yourself because you really enjoy to you really enjoy going through those dark times and elevating and finding yourself again it's like a game that you play with yourself is what i'm i'm getting um shine make yourself seen like um also all uh we've got 20 and 21 that came out together look unseen Look, it says, make yourself seen. Here on the card, it says shine. And then make yourself seen. And then look, unseen. Trust your growing potential. Um, and you are growing. And so maybe there are, it's like you have hid yourself from the world. Or you've tried to hide yourself. Or like you've made yourself small for people. You've made yourself small for you. I do want to look at the book here and because I literally just this is my very first time using the deck like my very first time I uh, right before I started the camera I did pull a card for myself and it says here a tribe is a group of people who think like us like the same things we do live in similar circumstances who we decide are like us mm. Your tribe might be your friends, family, school friends, or a group of people outside of your immediate obvious circle, or even a group of people you might have never met in person and only know online. You are blessed with the people in your life too, or there's there's someone in your life too that that you're blessed. I do feel like too that whether you realize it or not, people look at you as though you're blessed, even though you may not see it or realize it. That's what I'm picking up so far from this, from what I've gotten here and what I'm seeing here so far. Um, it feels comforting to be surrounded by familiarity. I can never pronounce that word. By familiarity. <laughs> by people who 
get us. It is soothing when things feel relatable and predictable. I feel like some of you with this unseen, like you have been around people that, or maybe you feel this way now that there's nobody really in your life that just gets you, that sees you, that sees the heart that you have, that sees that you would give the shirt off your back if someone needed it. And it's like you just really need someone to see you for you who just gets you. And um, I feel like it's 50-50. Some of you, you do have that. Like maybe it is someone online. Maybe it is someone that you've never met before and you, you've become close with. Um, others of you, um, you haven't found that just yet and you're looking for that. And so like I do feel like spirit is telling you that if you don't have that yet that it is time for you to really get yourself out there to be seen that you know to stop hiding yourself maybe you do you don't have many friends and you do kind of um there it's almost like there are some times where you do want to like just dig a hole and like you know um uh, pull the dirt in over you because you feel too scared to let people in to see you to see who you really are you know um maybe uh to be accepted to be accepted for who you are for your uniqueness you know and to find that acceptance maybe that's what you're searching for and um there is like there is um what is it power in numbers strength in numbers and so there's it says here the strength of the tribe lies in their respect and celebration of diversity which uh unites them unconditionally so like so like if you feel like you have to pretend to be something you're not to fit in then then you shouldn't be with those particular people or have those particular people in your life because, um, like, you know, really think about um, your people online, your your community online. Like, what do you um, what do you share about yourself online? Like. Um, So it's like, hmm, if you have an online tribe, you know, know that sharing and interacting with the same things are going to trigger those algorithms to show you like similar posts and advertisements and it creates this bubble which can feel very comforting for you to be in that bubble, you know? But then it really limits your growth. And then it limits that tribe. So really allowing yourself to get out there and to connect with people that are different than you are. So like, as you evolve, then you know, your tribe will evolve and so on and so forth. Okay, I'm gonna move on to the next card and then I'm gonna start pulling tarot. All right, card number 20. So maybe you have like again got yourself in that that uh that bubble where everything and everyone is the same because of that comfort. It says here this is your lucky card and it's in the middle. Magic says it's time to weave your spell on the world and let it experience your unique magic. Let the world experience look your uniqueness share your unique personality your your uniqueness with the world allow yourself to be seen 
shine your light and let the world see this mute this i don't know why i was gonna say mutable but this um magical being that you are it says here your inner powers are aligned with celestial energies and you are empowered to enchant everything you touch does this sound far-fetched right now if so remember that how you perceive reality is the key to how empowered you can be with it the person on the card weaves a pentagram a pentagram cat cradle cat's cradle they have the skill and divine ability to weave magic they are crowned by a crescent moon of new beginnings while fireflies glisten in the forest reflecting their okay so it's just basically talking about what the card looks like so if you're needing a boost or hoping for a positive answer in a situation this is a yes card so like if you um if you're asking questions like that you're needing like like a, a green light or hoping for a green light or hoping for a big yes this magic card right here is um is that big yes so it's like luck is is on your side right now so it said luck is but remember luck is preparation meeting opportunity so be ready to take advantage of the good energetic fortune around you this means taking practical steps if you need to pass a test study hard if you want to fit in with people put yourself out there if you need to pass a test study hard if you want to make uh, if you want to make new friends be open and available and like literally that's what it said right after i was saying put yourself out there so like if you need if you want to make new friends if you're wanting to like um uh if you're single and you're wanting to like start dating you need to put yourself out there you've got to date you've got to make friends you've got to get out there right if you want peace in your home be calm and be respectful be be the um the change that you're wanting to see in your home in your friend group in the world which is exactly what i was saying earlier in our reading um for how you can be of service to the world but be open to witnessing the magic manifest around you if you're hoping for good news this card says you will receive it so like um you guys are so very blessed you're going to be receiving good news you're going to be um but you have to kind of put yourself out there so you're going to be receiving opportunities look shine make yourself seen get out there make yourself seen so that quit hiding yourself so that you can have these opportunities so, because you're not going to have this luck this abundance this um you know friend group this lover if you don't if you stay unseen if you stay hidden look victorious it's good to ask for help so you you will be victorious but you've got to get yourself out there also this is card number 11 on the bottom of the deck so again you guys i'm going to use the tarot in a moment to clarify this I feel like so many of you have so much going for you and it's like I feel like spirit is saying that it's time like for you to give back maybe it is time for you to give back to your community or to give back to a friend or to give to a friend um, Spirit is saying with this magic card that um, uh, the only way to seal the magic around you is to identify a way that you can help another. And look, don't be afraid to ask for help. So it's like by you helping others, you've given to others so much that now you're going to be getting back the same kind of help, the same kind of love that you have given other people. You have given and given and given so much, and now you're about to receive everything that you have given. Your kind, sweet soul has given to so much, given so much. 
and now you're going to receive that back. And I literally just heard yes. So if this is resonating with you at all, you can expect that. It says here for the shine card, it says it's time to, sh sorry, the time to shine is now. Don't let the opportunity pass you by. See, so like, look, there's an opportunity here for you to shine and you're going to be blessed, but you have, but you can't, it's like, you've got to put yourself out there where you can get that opportunity. You have to actually accept the opportunity. It says the person on the shore may have left it late to signal the ship, but their light is strong. It only takes a single flame to light the darkest night. A spiritual aspect to this card is represented in the smoke waffling to the heavens, carrying prayers of hope and renewal and wishes for positive change. So like, look, it only takes, what is that? Um, I'm hearing um, faith the size of mustard seed can move a mountain. So that's all you need right now. Having that little bit of faith, you may feel as though you've missed the boat or that you've missed opportunities, but Spirit's like, no, you, you don't give up. Keep on pushing, keep trying, because what you're wanting, what you're needing is right around the corner. This actually is turning out a lot more positive than what I was thinking. I was thinking it was going to be a bit triggering, but it's not. It's actually quite beautiful. So it's like you you may feel like, what's the use? I give up. I'm done. Um, uh trying to help people and trying to I'm done trying to do this or do that and spirits like don't give up there's an opportunity here for you to shine it's a, it says carrying prayers of hope and renewal and wishes for positive change I keep hearing them say yes um, it says here how can you make this healthy and positive drawing attention to yourself in a substantial way when shine is drawn it's not about exterior looks it's about shining your inner light it's important to feel deeply connected to your inner light sorry i just i just reread i i'm so sorry uh, I just reread the same sentence. You guys ever do that? You get to the uh, to the end of the sentence or to the end of the word, the line, and then you go back and reread it. So that's what I did. Sorry. It's important to feel deeply connected to what you're doing to draw attention to yourself. Resist the urge to compare yourself to and compete with others. So maybe you have like um uh felt the need to like you felt like you didn't fit in and you felt like you needed to compare yourself or compete with other people in your friend group but spirits like you're magical and beautiful and unique all by yourself just shine that light there's no need for you to um compete with others because it's like you hide the real you away you you know you you feel unseen Maybe you feel like you're not good enough uh, um, with the people around you, whether it be your friend group, the people online, or your family. And spirits, I, I'm hearing this little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. I just heard giggling too. So like, again, like close your eyes and go within. And really think about what makes you unique, what makes you stand out. You have something that nobody else has. And and it's like, it's good to stand out. You don't need to be like these other people. You don't need to use filters to try to look like those people online. Consider what it is that you want to attract. When you draw shine, it highlights the metaphysical principle, like attracts like. Energy and opportunity exists around you in some form. It's time for you to make a notice. Sorry. Oh, my goodness. Hold on. It's time for you to make it notice you. This card can also mark the beginning of an exciting new journey in life. Your ship is coming into shore, guided by the birthing energies of the new moon. Be sure to have everything ready and in order so you can jump on it and sail away to explore new horizons. 
So it's like maybe you feel the need to try to manipulate other people to to um, to be attracted to you or to force a situation um, to go in your favor or to force a situation to find you or to accept you. And so it's more powerful and reliable to use maybe like an, an attraction spell on you to radiate attractive energy um, to let your own personal unique light shine without like um, having to mimic others to compete with others Tell me more, Spirit. Can you clarify the tribe card? I'm just going to pull uh, one tarot for each card, so since we're already going in. Um, going on 27 minutes. Can you clarify the tribe card, Spirit? Tell me, actually, okay, so they're, they're saying that I'm already late, that I don't need to clarify them. So just give us more messages, Spirit. Thank you. The judgment card. I feel like you've judged yourself and judged, um, maybe judged other people too harshly, but, but still, like, you're, you're um, maybe overly judgmental over your own value not realizing the value of your own gifts, your own talents, um, you as a person, maybe even like focusing too much on past mistakes, things that you've said, things that you've done, this need to really forgive yourself. I don't know why spirit um, they're playing um, that song live and let it die but they're playing that um, I feel like there's other people too that are still judging you by your past I feel like many of you felt unseen and unheard in in your families when you were growing up as well So the fool, this is this card of just kind of, of just trusting blindly. Like you are ready to like take this leap of faith and to trust yourself. It's time to like, look, the three of wands um, is the same with that shine card where uh, it's a card of like your ships coming in, waiting for your ships to come in. That there is opportunity around you for you to attract this success to you. Look, wishes being fulfilled with the nine of cups. You can't make this up. Wishes being fulfilled. This is um, an opportunity here for happiness. An opportunity to make your dreams come true. Maybe something that you've really been wanting for a very long time. Here you are getting recognized, being seen, allowing your light to shine so that you can be being seen here for who and what you are. That you don't need to compete with other people, that you are unique and beautiful just the way you are you don't need filters you know you don't uh, need um, you don't need makeup I understand like I, I my makeup my wigs my nails all of those things that's just my style but you don't need those things like you can still be like authentically you
that, sh that shine card saying that there are these opportunities. Make yourself seen. Get out there and let yourself be seen. Let your light shine because there are opportunities that, that are coming to you. You don't need to worry about comparing yourself to these other people. Look, as soon as I pick the deck up, we've got take the initiative. Waiting for things to happen will not work. And the three of wands is a card of waiting for things to happen as well. So um, make your own way forward to put yourself in a position to win. Look, again, look, both of these, put yourself in that position to, to, to win. You've got to get out there and, and once you get yourself out there in spirit, saying you're blessed right now. There's a lot of magic energy around you right now, a lot of luck. Lucky breaks, lucky opportunities, but you've got to get yourself out there. You've got to take the initiative to actually do it, to go after what you want. Just go ahead and take those next steps. To go after what it is that you really want. Maybe you feel like the... Uh, People will laugh at you. Because I'm hearing, they're all going to laugh at you. And I heard that in one of our readings. Um, was it last month or something? They're all going to laugh at you. They carry. You guys, like, seriously, I stumble all over my words. I don't have a high school education. I taught myself everything that I know. And I know that I love reading cards and I love giving channeled messages. And I love spreading the information and the knowledge that I do have. Um, but I'm not, like, the smartest person in the world. And I had to really get over my fear of looking foolish so that I could deliver messages because that's what I wanted to so badly to do. Like, I just love, love delivering messages that I'm able to channel from spirit because it, it's so cool. <laughs> like, seriously, it's so cool to be able to do that. And I know that I'm not you know, the most eloquent speaker. And I say, uh, and um, a lot because that's how I channel when I'm trying to figure out what spirit is trying to tell me. It's just a, a thing that I do and I can't help it. But like, I know. And I just want like to share my joy of doing what I do with the world. So I, I understand this. Like, I had to, you know, uh, realize that, yes, there are people out there that don't stumble all over their words. And they're able to just kind of spit out what they're getting. But I, I had to, like, break free from comparing myself with them and just go for it and do what I love. And so that's what I'm doing. And that's what Spirit is telling you to do as well. Whatever this is, even if it's not for career, but it's just something that you want to do. And you are so blessed and you're ready to take these next steps. Trust that you have so much potential, so much um, potential to grow, to evolve, and you're going to be victorious. Everything, and, and the divine knows that you have this beautiful heart inside. And that you have maybe have felt like you didn't fit in or you didn't know where you belonged. But that's what's so magical about you is that you still love people. Even though maybe you felt like the oddball out. Get out there. Get go see the world. Taste different foods. Taste you know, um, the world is so big and beautiful that why shut yourself off to one little portion of the world? Allow yourself to see and meet many different people. 
don't worry about what they think of you. Ghost of the past. Let go of the ghosts that haunt you and stop obsessing about what you don't have. Remember, closure comes from inside you. Again, like there, it's like thinking about the past, people that hurt you in the past, um, closing yourself off because there has been so much pain and hurt in the past, past mistakes. Whispering in your ear, giving, you know, it's like, I just heard own worst enemy. Maybe obsessing about what sort of, what skill you feel that you don't have, or, you know, just not valuing the skill that you, that you have and not realizing how amazing you are as a person and whatever this ability is that you have. Embrace the darkness on the bottom of the deck. Allow yourself to feel and to be present. Hold and nurture those dark, unlit parts of yourself and your life will begin to expand because of it. Again, with that shine. Allow yourself to feel. Embrace that darkness. Nurture it. Love it. And as you do, you'll, your whole life will start to expand. You'll notice more and more opportunities coming to you. More and more opportunities for growth, for evolving, for evolution. Evolving evolution. <laughs> I was just on a roll and the, those two, the, I know they mean the same thing, but still, you know what I'm saying. Tell me more, spirit. An invitation. So you're being, you're going through, you're being invited right now. You're being invited. There's an opportunity that's going to present itself for you to like step through this portal into your own mastery to explore other dimensions. You're being invited. You're ready. Look, you're ready. The fool, you are ready to take this invita invitation to go through this portal here to go into these this realm where you are attracting opportunities to you. You're ready to take that step. You're ready to take that step and that leap into this whole new world, this whole new dimension. And look, you are safe. You are protected against these lower energies that want to kind of, there's a difference in embracing that the, the dark and allowing the dark to envelop you and pull you in. You are the master of the darkness. The darkness is not the master of you. And so you are safe. Trust your power. Trust your protection. No enemy can halt your progress or hinder you. No weapons formed against you shall prosper. You are free to allow yourself to be seen, to allow yourself to shine. You are blessed. There's so much magic around you right now. There's this luck. There is a, a lucky opportunity that's, that comes with this invitation that's taking you into higher dimensions so if you look here too look that there's that light the light is the invitation the light within you is the invitation and then also to look the is card number 21 we got card number 21 right here and two and one is three two and one is three and then we've got the three of wands. We've got three, three, three right here. Also, ghost of the past, number 77 on this card. The invitation is card number 34, which is a seven. So we've got seven, 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 three, three, three. Also, the tribe is card number 16, which would be a seven. So we've got seven, 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 seven. 
Magic is card number 20. The Judgment card is card number 20. 22. All these synchronicities here. So don't doubt for one minute that you are about to. Also card number 11. And this victorious card is card number 12, which would be a three. All of these amazing synchronicities. This is, You can't just make this up. You could also start to see threes and sevens, or maybe you already are, or 22, or 222. Two, two. You're going to notice that you start seeing those numbers, too. You're going to start to see 333. Three. If you're not already, you're going to. You're going to see 333. Three, three. You're going to see sevens. I'm also getting some of you may see 717 or 177 or, you know, like a variation of that. But I feel like it's either going to be 777 or 717 or, or like sevens and threes. If you're not, you will. And then also like um, 22 or 222. But, uh, but for sure, for sure, the threes and the sevens. 369 um, is also showing up here as well. So you, you could start to see that as well. And that's to let you know that you are about to reach, like you're, these are breakthroughs. You're, these are the invitations. This right here, consider this your formal invitation. And it's up to you to accept that invitation. Like seriously, spirits like uh, show up show up that's all you've got to do show up and show out <laughs> expect good things to happen to you after watching this reading spiritual rebirth card number one and i told you guys i told you i was seeing a, a I was seeing sevens and one and I sevens and ones and I was like it could either be seven one seven or seven seven one or one seven seven something of those not of that nature. Look seven seven right the three and the four make seven and then here's the one and I told you I don't know if you can see that but look spiritual rebirth you're being reborn. Let go of the old self. Let go of the old uh, hurts and hangups. And allow your authentic self to emerge. To emerge. To be seen. To reunite your soul with divine source. So that you can spread your wings and fly. So that you can expand. So that you can make your dreams come true. And go after and get everything you ever wanted. Because you're so close. Oh my God. <laughs> this, I'm telling you. If you stay to listen to this whole thing even after I said that it could be triggering. Please know that this is happening for you because you have been through the dark side. You have gone through the dark side. You have done the inner work. You have looked your your demons in the face you have felt outcasted you've been taken advantage of you felt like you didn't fit in you felt like you had to be someone else on the outside to the outside world you felt like you've had to use filters and and um you know these uh what is it uh show a photoshop you felt like you've had to do those things to kind of keep up or like wear this or wear that and felt like you didn't belong and you weren't good enough and you've been working on yourself and your spiritual journey and that's why you're receiving this invitation because you are so magical and you are so unique and and the divine wants you to accept this invitation let go of the old. Let go of the old way of thinking, the old beliefs about yourself and about other people, the past mistakes. Let go of all of that. Accept this invitation and allow your true, authentic self to be seen, to shine, to flourish, to grow. 
Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so... I'm so honored that, that you would stay and watch this. I'm so honored that you would stay. If you're watching this right now, and you're still here, like I'm truly <laughs> so honored to read for you and that you would stay and listen to me <laughs> give you this message. Like, I can feel you and you're my kind of people to be that deep and complex and still have such a loving, giving heart. And I just adore you. I love you so much and I don't even know who you are. And that's what I have for you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm going to have to go. Oh. Uh. Anyways, <laughs> the divine in me bows to the divine in you. Namaste.